This is the story of an adventure series that began in 1961 and a mystery that has remained unsolved for over 50 years. In 1960, Ian Hendry had his first big break in television. He starred as Dr. Geoffrey Brent in ABC Television's production, Police Surgeon, that ran for 13 episodes. And whilst the series wasn't a huge commercial success in the ratings, ABC realised that Ian Hendry had star potential and endeavoured to find him a new series to showcase his talents. And that series, of course, was The Avengers. And whilst Patrick McNee was to go on to become synonymous with the series, playing the part of John Steed. In the first series, Ian Hendry was cast as the lead, Dr. David Keel. And this is the story of the missing episodes. In total, 26 one-hour episodes were made, but amazingly, only two complete episodes survive. And the first act of the very first episode, Hot Snow. So what happened to them? Did any more of them survive? And if so, where are they now? These are questions that have been asked by many Avengers fans, and none more so than Richard McGinley and Alan and Alice Hayes, the authors of two superb books on the first series of The Avengers. They've scoured all available records to try and find out what happened to these tapes, as well as telling the story of how The Avengers came to be, and bringing the lost episodes back to life. A task also being undertaken by Big Finish Productions, who are creating audio versions of the first series of The Avengers. So what exactly do we know about these tapes? Well we know that in 1958, videotape recording technology was first used in British television. And this is the system that was used to record the first three series of The Avengers. And they were also used for the broadcast of the shows. Expensive and difficult to edit, videotapes did have the one advantage of being able to be wiped and reused. And this, many believe, was the fate of the missing episodes of the Avengers. But there is documentary evidence that many of these episodes were still held by ABC TV in their archives as late as July 1962, with the mention that they may possibly be broadcast by other regions. But it's not known what happened to these after this date. There are a number of ITV regions that did broadcast the Avengers, some from the very beginning, and others coming on board after the series has been running for several episodes. ABC TV had the rights for the Midlands and Northern regions, and for the other regions, copies of the tapes were presumably made for broadcast. Were these copies on videotape, which we know was expensive, or 16mm film? And what happened to these tapes after the broadcast? Assuming, of course, that they did exist. To save episodes for the longer term, or for overseas broadcast, Video tapes were quite often transferred to 16mm film by a process called telerecording. And it's interesting to note that all the surviving episodes have all been discovered on 16mm film. So there are various questions that need to be asked. If they were transferred to film, was it for archiving purposes? Or were they copied for another reason? For broadcast by other ITV regions, possibly? How many episodes were transferred to 16mm film? Were there only three? Or was the whole series transferred to film? If they were only retained on videotape, then there is a good chance that they were wiped and the tapes reused. However, if more episodes were in fact transferred to 16mm film, there at least remains the hope that they have survived and may reappear one day. To complicate matters, in 1968, ABC TV merged with Rediffusion London and Thames Television was formed. ABC's premises in the Midlands and Northern regions were closed. Thames Television set up its new base in the Teddington Studios, previously owned and run by ABC TV. So after the merger, what happened to ABC Television's archive? And that of Radio Fusion London? Well, ownership and copyright of programmes remained with the respective production company, rather than the new network, which meant that when a company lost its licence, its archive material, including videotapes, film and paperwork, was often sold to third parties, 
or risk being destroyed. As recently as 2008, the last programme to be broadcast by ABC TV in 1968 appeared through a private seller on eBay, which raises the possibility that other archive material is still in private collections. Some of ABC TV's archive did get transferred to Thames Television, and within that archive was the one remaining episode from Series 1, The Frighteners, from which a clip was used in Ian Hendry's 1978 This Is Your Life. And for a long time, it was believed that only one episode had survived. But then, something amazing happened. In 2001, on the other side of the Atlantic, some five and a half thousand miles away, a stunning discovery was made. Archive television enthusiast David Wood was conducting an online search whilst looking through the listings of the University of California's Los Angeles Film and Television Archives. He noticed the listing of two missing episodes. The complete episode 6, Girl on the Trapeze, the first act of the very first episode, Hot Snow. Which begs the question, how did they get there? It's been suggested that maybe the tapes were sent to the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation to try and help sell the series. And we'll return to the American Broadcasting Corporation in error, rather than ABC UK. But I think a more likely explanation is that there's some connection with Ian Hendry's pursuit of a film career. The production of the second series of The Avengers was delayed due to industrial action, and Ian's undoubted talent, combined with ambition, was beginning to make him think about a career in film. These tapes, found in Los Angeles, the very heart of the American film production industry, suggest that maybe they were sent out to an agent, or directly to the studios. Which then begs the question, did other episodes survive? And if so, will they turn up in another film and TV archive, or a private collection? Or maybe they're left forgotten about in a box somewhere? We live in hope that they're out there somewhere. If you have any information, then please contact us. But until then, we'll leave it up to Keel and Steed to investigate. I think we're right on the edge. Just one lead and this should be it. We have top men working on it right now. Who? Top men. I hope so.